Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. So it is the 6th of December. Yes, I did have to look to my screen then and just to check the date, because honestly, time seems to be moving so quickly, and each December is always seems to be very, very busy, very, very hectic, and as a lot of people will know, and all of my subscribers, I've been doing this now, I think nearly four years, um, but I absolutely love the Christmas season. I love this time of year. In fact, it's probably my favourite time of the year, and I just love how people... And how people change the magic of the festive season. When you start to feel it, once you've had Halloween, and once you've had, uh, when what, here in the UK, once we've had Guy Fawkes Night, and then of course we move into Thanksgiving, and then of course that gateway to the festive season. I love how it all changes people, and people almost seem to be a little bit more lighter in mood, a little bit more, you could say, forgiving, or a little bit more positive. And everybody's looking forward. We've had the whole year, the, the hustle and bustle, and we've had our summer holidays, hopefully, and we've had a break in the year. And of course, the busyness and, and sometimes the stress and the strains, but hopefully, amazing things what's happened this year. And of course, I always find this time of the year, it always makes you kind of look at the year and has it been good for me? What's happened? What's not? But one thing which I think which is nice, which you always see in people, is that everybody seems to be a little bit more happier or a little bit more willing to sort of have a bit more of a longer, extra longer chat with you, or whether it be at work, whether it be in person. Someone has always got a little bit more time, even though it's a busy time of year. I do love the way that people just sort of change. It's they're almost that they put their festive hat on. And this time of the year brings out the positivity in people. And of course, we all know, and we all know far too, unfortunately, far too well, that Christmas brings joys and sorrows. And my dear Nan used to say that. And even my own family, we've had sorrows at Christmas time. We really, really have. But as I say, this clip for me, and I wrote this down, and I'm, and I'm always stressing in life about everything has to be perfect. And I'm very, very bad for that at Christmas, that everything has to be perfect. And then what end up, ends up happening is the time goes on by, I end up becoming a little bit unwell with vertigo, which is a long time issue for me, and balance problems in one thing or another. And then the, uh, the season seems to have just flown by, and I've felt lightheaded, off balance, and perhaps a little bit unwell. Everything gets done and everything's amazing, but yet I haven't enjoyed it. But the one thing, as I say, I do notice that just taking the time to appreciate the changes in the season, the change in everybody, and just the magic what this time of year has to offer. And my my clip, I always try to try to to bring all, all sorts of motivation to my channel. Of course, we talk about hair, we talk about skincare. Of course, fine hair, thin hair is a huge topic on my channel, which, I, which I've got such a passion for. But I have also got a passion for helping people, motivating people. And of course, in life, I love that ethos that it's not how you fall down, it's how you get back up. But it's also celebrating everything, every single moment, just grabbing every single moment you can in this life. So I wrote on my, my idea pad uh, this morning uh, that it's Christmas soon, so let's be extra nice and why not try all year? And that was my idea for this clip. And I wanted to mention that because, as I say, I am absolutely just taken by in the last couple of weeks that as we have moved into this time of year, that even when I go into work, into the office, I work in finance. So you can well imagine that uh, by trade, I'm an accountant, um, trained really hard for that. Lots of exams, you can well imagine. Um, but I work with a, sort, a certain type of character. And I don't want to make assumptions because I work with some very, very nice people. However, they're very, very quick, sadly, unfortunately, sometimes to group people. Um, and that's really, really tough in a way for me to sit back and watch. And I often do kind of like actually this this uh, this week when I went into the office, I go in once a week and um, somebody I don't want to say moaning or complaining, but they they were voicing. They were voicing an opinion and they weren't particularly very happy. And they said about that they were grumbling about Christmas and of course, there may be many reasons for why this person didn't like Christmas. And then they started complaining about quite small things. And I understand that, that you're always going to, you're not going to be able to please everybody. And everybody's got their reasons and everybody's going through something. I always try to understand that. And then it was some real silly things. And then it was the nastiness to people, not intentionally, but just backhanded comments. And then I kind of said, you know what? I said, I often do think that Sometimes you ought to stop and think what's going on in the world and then look at what we're actually complaining or moaning about. And the example I used was what's going on in Israel and Gaza at the moment and in the Ukraine. All of those people have been displaced, children, families broken up. I said, and we're moaning and complaining about perhaps the system or perhaps something which hasn't gone our way or perhaps something which, of course, is important. But in the grand scheme of things in life, it's not so important. 
And I think Christmas for me really, it kind of beautifully pictures that actually, yes, it is a celebration of Jesus, his life. It is of all what he done for us. And that is me from faith. But it's also a beautiful frame to kind of capture that actually what is important in our lives? Is it that everything's got to be perfect? Or is it actually, even though it might not be perfect, it's being there in the moment. It's loving those around you. It's putting your whole heart and soul into that situation, into that moment. And actually, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It doesn't matter if the house isn't dressed to perfection or the gifts are wrapped in a certain way and a certain brand of paper is used and a certain food or beverage hasn't been purchased. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you have on a table. It doesn't matter how much you spent on somebody's gift. For me, if somebody has bought me a gift of a very small amount to a large amount, it's who it's, it's amazing, yes, but it's who it's come from. It's who I'm with at that moment. It's who all, all around me. And I really did get that when I went into the office uh, this week, that actually, do you know what? Let's take a moment to actually appreciate the right now, what we have. And I think Christmas so beautifully pictures that very essence that actually take a time to celebrate, give what you can. There's a say on my channel, and I've said this recently, that even if you have nothing, you still have something to give. Your time, your understanding, your patience, your love. Christmas doesn't have to be expensive. Christmas for a lot of people is, and I'm a fine one to speak, honestly, and then we come into the new year and then you think, oh, <laughs> but of course, I know we want to spoil people, but actually, sometimes, just actually taking a moment and actually just enjoying the season, yeah, carry on with Christmas, and everybody's got their own amazing, beautiful way of doing it, but the small things, what I'm trying to get at here, is actually sometimes things aren't as bad as what they seem. For some, they truly, truly are, and my heart goes out to you. But actually, sometimes just how people change and really getting involved in that. And sometimes I've missed it. I've missed it where the season's been so busy and I've, and I've missed those moments. And actually, do you know, I walked into work this week and the few people who I do see, because of course, working from home and things have changed since the COVID and everything. And the people who I wouldn't normally speak to, I said, good morning. I said, hello. I asked them how they were. And I do that normally, but not for the people who I've actually done this to. And do you know, what? the change in them. They just kind of perked up, smiled, looked back at me, asked me how I was. The engagement was incredible. And I thought to myself, do you know what? Why does this have to happen just around Christmas? Why does it have to happen just in December? And I think Christmas is just so powerful. Yes, the gifts are incredible. Yes, the coming together, the family and friends and, and just everything what Christmas has to offer. It's stunning. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. But there are other things as well. And as I say, even if you don't have anything to give, you can still give somebody something. And sometimes that is the magic. And I think that feeling, that tingling in your spine where the weather changes, the season's upon us and Christmas magic is on the way. Sometimes just take a look around because we might be missing something pretty damn magical. It's Christmas soon. There's a lot to be had. It's on its way. Let's be extra nice to somebody. Not even just somebody. Everybody. Let's add. We live in a fallen world, sadly. We really, truly do. We don't have to be nasty to one another. There's enough about what goes on already. Let's be extra nice and hopefully carry it all year through. Thank you very much for sharing that with me. It's the 6th of December. We're getting closer. We're getting closer and preparations are on the way. I hope you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly do. And I hope I've been able to relate to something to you or help you in your mindset. And if you're a bit stressed or you're a bit anxious, or if you're going to get things done in time and you're hasting and pacing for the Christmas season, you've got lots to do. Take a moment. You're going to get there, my friend, but enjoy every second of it and embrace all of the magic. Christmas has to offer. God bless, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.